And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is the same opponent from the last match. If you saw the last match, I will if you'll know exactly what's going on. But if you did not see the last match, I'll give you exactly three seconds to pause this video and go back and watch it. Okay, so in that last video, I definitely got crushed by Forgate while I was going for a new build. I actually fought this guy in that last game. That is why I did not have to introduce him again. Once again, I'm uploading all three of these on the same day because there were three games in a row against this player. But yeah, I went for the one racks, three factory. It didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. I ended up going for... One racks, two factory, one racks, third factory. It was just weird. Uh, there was an armory in there too. It was it was just not executed well, and that's probably what cost me the game. Plus, my lack of defense early is what cost me because I did not get the scouting done early to notice that he was going for four gate. Although it looked like he was kind of getting four gate a little bit later than usual. So this is the second round against this player. I know that he went four gate last time. And this is an aspect of the game that I have not talked about before because really it didn't apply before. Is that when you play repeated games against the same player, you don't want to do the same build over and over. So both of us know that we fought each other last time. As you can see, I actually made him laugh. I love making people laugh. I'm a clown for you people. I, I don't mind people calling me a clown. But yes, here we go. No, I'm not Joe Pesci. Same build, exactly the same, even the same design, which I always think is kind of weird. Um, I actually go for the same design as well when I go for my three racks, usually, you know, two, three racks right there. But this is kind of weird. Oh, the Cybernax score is placed a little bit differently here, but yes, Pylon, Gateway, Pylon. I don't know exactly what the point of that one is because... As you can see, he is so low on supply. Oh, he is going to be chrono boosting the probe. That might be why he's doing that. And here he's going to try to take out my barracks. And up, he just tases it once and then moves on. Damage done. Next task, please. I am getting the supply depot around the base. Keep in, trying to keep an eye on that pro because I don't want a proxy pylon going up, chasing him down with the marine. I don't, I, I don't want to bother microing really. What I want to do is just make sure that he doesn't get a proxy pylon up. I am not, I am going for a slightly different build. If he was paying careful attention, he would know that because last time I did not get the reactor on that first barracks by the time that probe, that first probe died. But here, definitely three racks. Uh, because last time I know that he went for four gate, I didn't actually need to watch the replay. I knew it based on what kind of timing he came at me with, with those stalkers and those zealots and a couple centuries, I believe. So I'm expecting four gate this time and sure enough, there it is. So I'm going for my three racks here, knowing that Chances are he is probably going for another four gate. I am getting a relatively early gas here. It's not that early. It's early-ish. But I am going for it. I am getting, uh, there we go. Re tech lab on the second barracks and tech lab on the third barracks. Definitely just going back to what I know best and what I know the timings of. And I'm gonna put my faith in it. Here he goes once again for the proxy pylon. So yes, two games in a row he is going for the pretty much exactly the same build. 26 out of third out of 58, and instantly three stalkers. So yes, I mean almost exactly the same. That's not something you want to do, especially. I I, I mean. I like going for the same build over and over again, but not if I know my opponent knows that I'm going for it. It's supposed to be kind of a hidden thing. It's not supposed to be, oh, well, I'm just going to go for the same thing again, and if he can't stop it, that's his problem. Of course I'm going to be able to stop it if I know what you're going to be doing before you do it. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this kind of stuff. So look at that. Yes. 
There we go. Chrono boosting the warp gates does make the cooldown go down faster. So there's no reason, absolutely no reason whatsoever to ever have full energy on a Nexus. There, I said it. And it looks like he's actually stopped production. Did he stop playing? No, he's still there. And he's doing better than me in APM, as usual. But here we go. He's moving in. No zealots this time. Just pure stalkers and sentries. And a couple force fields going down. So he does get a couple shots off early before I am able to get any uh, shots off. See, look, look at all those guys dance there. So he is going to be able to take down the barracks. And I'm instantly moving down because I don't want to be trapped inside my base with the force fields. And he runs off there. I don't know why he did that. He did have enough to take out that small little group there. But Stimpak is finished, so I should have used that, I think, replacing my third Rax there. Meanwhile, I am going for upgrades, weapon number one, and combat shield, which I am a big fan of because otherwise my marines tend to die a lot faster. So he's warping in a few more uh, zealots. He's coming in, gonna go for the reactor. It looks like he actually tried to get that down before he actually saw it on screen, so I'm stimming up. There we go, another force field. It is a little bit badly placed, though, this time. There we go, he is using that properly. He needs to run off uh, once uh, he sees that I stim up. And he's just kind of skirting around outside my base, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. I'm getting a, a factory because I want to get siege tech and siege tanks out there so I can start getting some range. And he abandons the pylon, so I'm more than willing to finish it for him. And did I just stim pack right there oh that was awful come on you guys yeah I stimmed and there it goes so I gave those guys free drugs I didn't even charge them for it that that's how I roll I'm a good drug dealer like that and I'm going for an expansion here I do have a ton of minerals and gas way too much how is he doing he's doing a lot better at it than I am but I have a little bit more income, especially thanks to these two mules that just popped out. But once again, behind, behind, behind. Gotta keep up. Got, you can't let early aggression or any kind of battles on the field get you away from doing what you need to do to spend your minerals and gas. Can't let it pile up like that. So instantly I'm down, back under 100, and back up over 100. And what was that? That was a Twilight Council? Twilight Council is up, and he is researching charge. He still is on four gate, it looks like, and it looks like he stopped using the chrono boost, and he hasn't been producing probes for a long time here. He is fully saturated there. Yeah, he could use one or two more, possibly. Uh, well, there's one that I missed, so what is that? Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. But he's just not going to be able to, to keep up uh, this kind of production uh, for a long time. He needs to get a, an expansion up like I do. I do go for the expansion and I'm getting a second orbital command. That is important choosing whether or not to go for the orbital command or the, the planetary fortress. Especially when you when the when the buildings are out front you want to get a planetary fortress but I feel this one is relatively secure so I go for the orbital command so I can get more mules. Mules, of course, are hugely important. So what do I have now? I'm up to four racks along with one factory and one starport while I still get my uh, expansion up and saturated and running and all that good stuff. And there we go. Now I'm starting to spend a little bit better. He sends his army out here. And then... He I'm able to take out one stalker. Are these guys? They don't siege up. Why aren't you sieging up? It looks like I am elsewhere and just now um, getting into the screen and stimming up, getting siege tanks fully sieged up. But now it looks like he ran off just in time. So I'm going to be chasing him down. Siege tanks are just way too slow. So I'm moving up into his base, and I'm, I'll see here that he doesn't have an expansion. The rocks are still here, so I have to I have to assume that he just simply has no expansion, and it doesn't look like he does. 
Once again, while I'm attacking, it looks like I fell apart on the ma the macro I'm looking here. Oh, what am I doing? No, 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 siege tanks. No, no, no. There we go. So my idea here is to get his army down within range, and look at that. He does get within range, and there he backs off. But th it was a bit of a misclick on the force field, and I am able to get uh, the marauders in my back. Oh no, what are you doing? Just just bad. So he's gonna be putting more stuff in. And I need to move these siege tanks because I cannot hit these guys from there. And I'm just running into his base trying to figure out what is left here. He is chrono boosting those warp gates, so yes, he is gonna be able to warp in a couple more units here, but it's not going to be enough. Reinforcements are on the way. They are still late. They are always late. I'm sieging up the tanks. Guys, did he cancel charge? Oh, they have charge. What the hell happened? Why aren't you charging? Oh, there's a cooldown on it. I did not realize there was a cooldown on charge. Learn something new every day. So now I'm starting to do the leapfrog technique on the siege tanks, and this is definitely going to be enough to win me the game. But he does not want to leave. He does not want to lose to a player that he already beat. Stimming up all my units once again. Just trying to make sure that these probes don't get back into the mineral line. As long as they stop producing, that's pretty much gonna be game. He is able to take out a siege tank because I have left him undefended. That is not a smart thing to do. I do have a small amount of reinforcements but I have so much minerals and gas because I'm in his base and I'm like you know this is this is this is only a matter of time but you never know you this that's no excuse you got to keep it up. Here he finally sends his probes away. I don't know why he did that. He definitely had enough probes to finish off these marauders, and it looks like, well, he just has enough to get a couple more units in, sending more reinforcements in. Doesn't look like I ever got anything out of the starport now that I'm thinking about it. And there he GG's, and that's the game. So this was a game that I thought I did a lot better than I actually did. Look at that, full energy there. Almost full energy there. 2300, 700 pretty much. Never got anything out of here. Never got a second factory. Never got an armory. No, I did get an armory. Where is that armory? There. Right underneath. Uh, never got a second engineering bay though. Never got the second uh, level upgrades. Full way oversaturated here. Even though I won this game, I'm looking back at it and I could have done a lot better. So you always you always learn from watching the replay. So if you guys don't watch the replays, I highly recommend that you do because it gives you a different perspective on the game. When when I was playing this game, I was like, ah, look at that, I did good. But then looking back, I'm like, not nah, really, I did okay. But really, this uh, expansion is what is the determining factor in me being able to finish this off this quickly, especially with him not getting an expansion throughout this game. Um, you know, of course, building more than three racks, getting uh, the factory and the starport, even though nothing came out of the starport, why didn't anything came up, come out of the starport? So that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time in part three. So I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.